Rain or shine, the show must go on. We are less than 24 hours away from opening gates at the 2013 Salem Fair. Tonight, WDBJ 7's Nadine Mazur is giving you a sneak peek at some of the newest things to look out for this year. From day to night. Man, it's awesome. It's awesome. The difference is in the lights. You're going to notice it as soon as you come in. Uh, it's pretty bright and uh, it's pretty spectacular, actually. Andy Degler is the man behind this production, but this year he's shining a little bit brighter and lighting Salem up with more than $200,000 worth of new LED lights on the iconic Ferris wheel. It just adds to the overall, you know, experience out here. You know, everything looks a lot neater. You know, when it's brighter and looks more exciting, people have a better time. Not only does it add to the experience, but it also cuts down on Degler's costs to run the fair. The new LED lights are 60% more efficient than the old incandescent lights he replaced. They did, uh, they have a lot of different patterns. You look, you, you know, you can look at it for 20 minutes and not see the same thing too. You know, it's, it's pretty cool. What's also cool is that Degler's team of nearly 200 members are already helping to boost business in Salem just in time for opening day and the holiday weekend. They have to go to the restaurants. They have to go to get groceries. They have to get fuel. So they're spending money. Then you add to that the entertainers, you add to that the exhibitors and the independent food people. There's about 600 people living here for two and a half weeks. In Salem, Nadine Mazur, WDBJ7. Those numbers don't even include the number of people who are going to come from out of town to visit the fair. The fair expects to bring anywhere from 9 to $11 million in over the next two weeks.